From Washington, D.C., this is the TVNews.TV for Tuesday, January 24th, 2012. Brought to you by PRX Media, revolutionizing on-air promotion by combining it with social media to make SOMA promotion. For more info, search out PRX Media on Facebook. Hello, I'm Jeff Grimshaw, and we begin with, good lord, the ratings for NFL Championship Sunday were just phenomenal. First, the AFC Championship, an average of 48.7 million caught the Ravens, Pats, wide left, thriller. That's the most consumption in 30 years for the early game. And then came the mighty New York football giants and the 49ers, which averaged a 15-year high of 57.6 million viewers. And get this, it peaked out at 69 million during overtime. Whoa, 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 wow. Now the question is, will the Giants-Patriots Super Bowl rematch shatter the all-time TV viewing record, which was set just last year in the Super Bowl at 111 million? I'll tell you what, log on to the tvnews.tv Facebook fan site and you tell us if we're looking at over or under 111 million. And now this short message. Okay, big doings and personal liberties recently in the wide, wild world of the internet. Here to tell you all about it in our new media, new marketing report is Combridge's John Leland. Thanks, Jeff. On today's new media, new marketing report, I want to reflect on last week's, uh, you know, basically civil rights movement against the SOPA attempt by Congress uh, to uh, censor the internet and the amazing outcry um, and uh, really dramatic, uh, you know, rebellion that came about really at a grassroots level all over the internet. I mean, I think the biggest one was Wikipedia going dark, but really among hundreds of other sites and very visible protests from Google and so forth. You know, this, the internet, like nothing else, is a populist movement. And from a business point of view, it has empowered consumers in ways that we've never seen before. I can't help but reflect back uh, in the 90s. I remember when I was writing for videography, Edgar Bronfman Jr., who at the time was the CEO of, of Vivendi uh, Universal uh, and literally declared war on Napster. And uh, it was interesting in checking my details. I went to Wikipedia today and, and noticed that he's totally made a turnabout. And in a recent conference talk said that by standing still or moving at a glacial pace, we inadvertently went to war with consumers by denying them what they wanted and could otherwise find. And as a result, of course, consumers won that war. Um, you know, he's now being innovative and in fact, um, his company has invested in Spotify, among other internet music services. Now he's with the Warner Music Group. But, uh, you know, I think that that dovetails very nicely with what we saw going on on the internet when Congress tried to do this, uh, you know, censorship bill. Uh, no, the internet would not have it. And we're seeing that the internet and consumers on the internet really have remarkable power that they never had before. And that's part of the fabric that we live in. And we still see entertainment companies thinking, or Congress people for that matter, thinking that they can control things in ways that they can't. So the bottom line message for today is don't underestimate the power of your consumers to do what they want, when they want, watch the programs, what they, when, whatever programs they want, whenever they want, by whatever screen and medium they want. This is the era of the consumer, the era of people having the power to do what they want to do. And SOPA showed that like nothing we've ever seen before. And we're going to see more, even bigger uh, expressions of that as the corporations, the dinosaurs really struggle to try and maintain control, which they've already lost. The New Media New Marketing Report is brought to you by ComBridges, website design, internet marketing, and social media strategies. Visit them at combridges.com. We've got great news. We've got the start dates for the newest and most prestigious contributors to the TVnews.tv. On Wednesday, February 1st, 
Former TBS and CNN entertainment maven Bill Tush will deliver his view of the industry in As Seen on TV. And then on Friday, February 3rd, get set for former CNN Uber anchor Bobby Batista's Eye on News. Well, we want you as a sponsor of the TV news, so you can talk to the TV industry in our native tongue, that being video. To learn more about how you can leverage the power of the TV news, email us at advertise at the TV news.tv. And that about does it for this edition of the TV news. We invite you to hang with us on our social media outlets. And here are all of those coordinates. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. We thank you very much for watching and as always, Go out and make it a good day. Happy New Year! This holiday season, leave your guilt at the table and look forward to revealing the real you. Take your first step towards change with Monavie's Reveal Premier Weight Solution, a series of healthy and nutritious weight loss products that'll help you shed those holiday pounds. Whether your resolution is to lose weight, gain muscle, or get fit, Reveal will guide you towards your goal by providing you with a variety of online tools to track and encourage your progress. Join the Monavie Revolution today.